Hey everybody, just wanted to let you know I took the pond prowler out to the lake last night and it did not leak at all. So my glass repair patching did great. So if you have a leaky pond prowler boat and you're looking for a way to fix it, definitely check out my full video on how to repair the boat. It took me a total of about two and a half hours to do the repairs and then plus cure time of about two hours. So uh, definitely check it out and good luck. And, and remember, I got that boat for free. So you might want to check Facebook Marketplace, see if you can find a free uh, plastic boat if you're looking for one. And I already had the fiberglass and the resin on hand, but if I needed to buy that, I think it's about $55. Um, I only spent $22 on this project because everything else I already had laying around the house. So yeah, check it out. Have a great day. So I just had to go delete a bunch of videos. Unfortunately, I already did the repair. Um, so what I did is I took my bulk resin and hardener. And for every one ounce of resin, you use 10 drops of hardener. And basically what I did is these were all the areas on the top of the deck that I had caulked. And I went over them with resin and fiberglass cloth. So what I did first is the same as I did earlier, is I sanded a couple inches all around the crack. And then you take the resin and you use, I used a one inch wide brush and I brushed it really, really good coat down there. And I had blue nitro gloves on. And then what you do is you lay the cloth down and you push it in there with your fingers and then you brush away from the crack or the, away from the corner with the brush, dipping it in resin, pouring more resin on. So that cloth, resin alone, it'll hold to a certain extent, but that cloth just really reinforces it. So there's about a two inch crack there. And I used a four by four piece of cloth. There's a one inch crack there. I used a three inch by three inch piece of cloth. I basically used a piece of resin and cloth the entire way down that crack. There was just a few cracks, like there was a crack, there was a crack, there was a crack. But I wanted to just really reinforce it for the future. And uh, there's a crack in this corner. I got that reinforced. There's a crack back here, I reinforced that. There's a crack there, reinforce that. Here's a couple areas where I drilled and shot foam, added just additional foam into the deck. So I just went over that with some resin uh, to keep the water out. Um, turned out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the big one on the side here. This was a really big crack. It basically went from, that's about seven inches right there. So it was about seven inch crack. I went ahead and put a piece of cloth that was 14 inches long. So it really uh, went above and beyond the one to two inches of extra coverage. But I just really wanted to reinforce this area of the boat uh, significantly. Um, there was another, someone probably hit something right there. I really reinforced that. All this is cured now. Uh, so it was 62 degrees when I started working on this project this morning. It's about 70 something degrees now and it's all fully hardened. It says it'll take up 24 hours to fully cure, but I mean, I cannot even put a nail imprint into this. So I'm really happy with it. If you remember earlier, there was a really big crack. It went all the way from here to about here. And I did the same thing. I filled this channel with resin 